It's a couple of days later than the last video I did on this and uh, as you can see it stopped raining and it's a now quite bright sunshine so I do hope to get out riding afterwards. What I'm going to be doing today is using a set of these synchronizers which I haven't used for quite a long time. Uh, I've only just got this set. Um, previously I haven't used these 20 years and if you look in previous videos you'll see I've been having problems with my manometers and I've lost a bit of mercury. Not to worry. As you may remember or if you've never watched one of my other videos I bought this bike as a parts bike because it had some very attractive parts and then it became my main project bike and along the way got it started found it had a leak of oil from the, the cylinder head. In investigating that found it was a big bore bike Investigating that, I've ended up with different barrels, <laughs> different head, uh, reboard, new rings, you name it. Follow the playlist, it could be entertaining, it's been frustrating for me. I also know that the carbs are the earlier version, not the later ones that this barrel head crankcase would have had originally. Um, I know they jetted to 110. I'm 42 on the pilots. Whether that's right, wrong, or indifferent, I don't know. Eventually, I'm going to have some um, cone filters on there. Got some K&N cone, filter, cone filters. It's got a straight-through exhaust. It's a Carpi's exhaust, and uh, basically, it's just a, a pipe with a little bit of muffling at the end. So it is uh, quite loud. Uh, at the moment, I'm running it without the, most of the exhaust on, just the headers, uh, which is a bit loud. Now. What's the problem? On choke, I know all the cylinders are running fine. Oh, the heating up, yeah, using the modern technology of one of these. Once I take it off choke, cylinder two isn't quite as playful as the other cylinders. Now, I think balancing the carbs may well sort that out. If not, I'll have to investigate further. I'm confident I've done the tappet clearances okay. I know it's got new rings in, I know it's uh, had the valves looked at, so I'm not looking at that at the moment, but hey, you know, the way this project's gone, it wouldn't surprise me if I had to have it out and have another look. Um, I'm hoping that synchronising will do, and if it doesn't, at least we'll, you know, we'll have had a play about with it. So, let's get the new kit out. The kit comes with four dial gauges, four pipes, Two longer ones to connect to your carbs and two shorter ones to connect to your carbs. Now, I'm expecting the threads on these to be fine for the Honda and I suspect that there may be other bikes with other carbs where you may need to get different pipes for them but uh, as I've got my old set I know I'll be able to work around it if need be. Takeoffs for these vacuum gauges on most carbs are on the engine side of the carb and it's quite simple and with everything stripped down like this this is really easy you take that one out and I put this one in it's got a nice little o-ring just to make sure there's no air leak and if you've got these missing your bike's not going to run good the next one's the inner one here. It's a little bit harder to get at, but no air box on. Not really hard at all. You should see the fiddling I had to do with the fire blade to get these kind of things in. Now I'm going to drop this, I know. Am I dropping it? There we go, need to find that. I will put in my uh, little tube. Longer ones, obviously, for the inside. Quite long, in fact. You might notice there's a little hole. What it is, is to stop the actual pulses. There's also a, a twiddly bit on the tubes that uh, go to the actual gauges. What you need to do is just you know, get it down so that it's not jerking all the time with the vacuum pulses. Just to add to the pleasure. <laughs> you have to laugh. The choke won't 
go on with the tubing. So I'm going to have to take them out, put the uh, screws back in, warm the engine up first. <sighs> I don't know. It makes you laugh, doesn't it? <laughs> I didn't really want to be messing about with the carbs with the engine actually hot. I do want to try and start it with the balance gauges on with being able to use the choke as well. So I actually came up with what I think is quite a good workaround. What I've done is I've used one of my other type of connectors from the other set so that I can put a hose on and I'm putting this in so that it's got the same restriction. That way it should be giving you the same thing. So I can just get on with it now. It only took me an overnight uh, sleep to think of that. It's a good idea to put the synchronizers in a place that's easy to see while you're fiddling with everything else. And the tube, you just have to make sure the right one for each cylinder is to the right gauge. Now the idea of this is so that you can modulate the air going through the vacuum gauge so that your needle's not flickering too much. Sometimes you can't get rid of the flicker, sometimes you can. It makes sense to tie on the gauge so that it's not going to drop off when you're doing something else with the bike. It can be very frustrating that. But if you're using cable ties, make sure they're the ones you can take back off easy. You don't want to have to cut them all up. The individual adjustments are actually with these 17mm nuts here and the 10 on top is a lock nut so I'll just loosen them off so that these you can basically twiddle by hand. That's the gauges rigged up and I can now use the choke as well. Uh, usually you would warm the engine well through before you actually was balancing but I'm doing this to try and see if I can find out what's happening with the second cylinder so I do want to start it on choke. Uh, all I need to do now is add fuel, connect the battery, light the blue touch paper and we'll see what happens. That's the fuel and guess what? The carbs didn't leak. Hey, maybe I'm getting better at this. Battery's connected, everything's done, ready to go. What I've done is I've twiddled these up so that hopefully these shouldn't be even registering on there. We should have nothing at first. Just going to start it on choke, run it for a little while first of all. Importantly, I'm running it inside. I know where the fire extinguisher is. I know where the combustibles are. Got a fan to draw air through to take it out that way. And no exhaust uh, or no silencer. So I'm taking my hearing very sensibly. Now, obviously, if it gets very smoky in here, then you've got danger with your lungs. So maybe you should wear a mask. I'm not intending to run it for so long that I think that's going to be an issue. But do you do have to bear that in mind. So next thing is, let's see how easy it starts after I've left it for a while. first time
to actually balance the carbs what you need to do is actually balance the way that the uh, throttle slides open and that's done by twiddling that one that's just a lock nut on the top and you can once you've undone that you can twiddle these by fingers on most bikes number two is a fixed one and you balance the others to number two on this you can do all of them so you both just as a matter of course i'll say number two was the right one and then i'll try and get the others all the same you twiddle this give it a rev drop the idle or raise the idle if it's needed and once you've got them all within very close i mean they'll never stay perfectly close then you've got it right. I seem to have all four cylinders running now. We'll let the heat soak through for a little bit and then I'll give it another go. as good as I think I could expect it's running on all of them now what I'll do is I'll tighten down the lock screws make sure I've got it level still and without the filters on and without it having been run for a little bit longer I think that's about as good as I can get I'm absolutely thrilled this means I can move on now need to sort out the oil leak from those pipes then it's tank and seat time probably a few other things along the way but I'm ecstatic. If you've enjoyed this, why not subscribe? See what happens next in the continuing adventure of my cafe racer.